Hello everyone. Hope you having a good day. Welcome to a brand new testing tool series where we'll test open source hacking OSINT and frameworks which are available on GitHub. So in this series today we are going to test OctaSuit, an open source framework for GitHub intelligence. Credits to the developer Bellingcat. You can see the repository link is this github.com slash bellingcat slash OctaSuit. You can find the link in description also. So, if you scroll down, you can see a framework for uh, gathering open source intelligence on GitHub users, repositories, and organizations. You can see some uh, users' instructions here. Uh, this works on uh, Mac, Linux, and Windows. So, if we go to refer to instructions, you can see here installation instructions. This is a Python. This tool is made in Python 3, so you can install it using pip. So let's go back to our terminal and paste the code pip install octasuit, which will install octasuit for you. Okay. Let, you can find the uh, users and help commands here on this page, as you can see. So let's get back to our tool. We'll navigate to desktop and then we'll start our octasuit tool. You just need to type the command, it will start. First it's asking if I want to enable colors. So I'll say yes. As you can see, it has created two directories, downloads directory and an output directory. Which will help you to download releases directly or you can clone directly from this tool. And outputs, as you can see, in outputs we will have CSV files of information which you will see in a bit. If we type help, you can see the list of commands. The first uh, list is of uh, default or basic Linux commands and uh, program commands. If you type author, you can see the author details. Like this, you can uh, test these commands, but these are basic shell commands. Then, the main thing comes, uh, what uh, features are available in this tool. So, we can type help and the command to see different types of features that we can use. Main things are organization or user repo. Uh, from these you can do OSINT searches and find different kind of information from terminal about GitHub users. So, let's see user. We type help. First we clear the screen. We type help user to see user information as you can see you can get users email users profile users followers users followings okay so we'll try user profile first to use this command we have to do user goal in the command so we'll do user goal in the command we have to type the username i'll type my username as you can see you know you get my user profile and we get the option to save in a CSV file, which I'll say yes. So it gives my profile photo, username, ID, location, followers, following, Twitter handle, and other things. So now we can do one thing uh, type help again of the users, and you can see we can get user followers. So uh, I'll type user followers to retype my username and you can see it asks how many followers do you want to limit so I'll say till 3 now it asks me for every time uh, would I like to save in a CSV file so for this time I'll say yes you can see it asks again I'm saying no it gave me 3 followers as I told to limit it and if you can see in profile I have 35 followers currently so you can get max 35 now we'll see more commands there's a repo command now we'll type help repo you can see a repo profile for releases so let's try one command from here repo profile repo profile i want to check out the repository i think we need to type it like this slash home 
Okay, it needs username different. I get it. So we'll type a repo profile. Repository is homework. And username is my username. As you can see, it gives the, uh, the whole repository details. That's an incredible thing to do on a post and if you're doing on some user. This will save a lot of time and give information and you can, as you can see, you can save this information in a CSV file also. So, we'll type help. Are there any more good commands? We can search in organizations, user, repo, CSV, logs. Okay. So, let's go back to our desktop. As you can see here, two files, output and download. We'll go to outputs. Where we'll get our outputs. This is the CSV file for my username. Let's start it. You can see here, profile photo, name, username, and other details are saved in a CSV file. Same goes for the follower. It gives you details about the follower. Let's check about the repository. It also gives details about repository like license, etc, what topics this is on and updated push date. So you should check out this tool. This is a very good OSINT tool which will save your work when you are doing open source intelligence on GitHub users. So thank you for watching the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Please check out the repository. And sh again, shout out to the user or devel uh, developer or creator of the Octaso tool, Bellingcat. Link is also in the description. You can check the link here also. Thank you. See you in the next video.